Today we will be talking about Claudie Lévi-Strauss and the structural study of myth of him. First video is on the structuralism, second is on Ferdinand de Saussure and his structuralism in linguistics and this video is about structuralism of Claudie Lévi-Strauss and it will be more focusing on structuralism in myth and kingship and cultures. A signifying system can be any part of a culture that contains signs which can be read and interpreted by determining signification that how signifiers are connected to signifiers and by determining value that how one sign is different from all other signs in the system. This idea is at the heart of this kind of or and any kind of structuralist analysis. Ferdinand de Saussure applies it to language, whereas Claudine Lévi-Strauss, who is an anthropologist, applies it to kingship system and other forms of cultural organizations such as myth. For Lévi-Strauss, structuralist analysis offers a chance to discover the timeless universal human truths so beloved of the humanist perspective but using a method methodology that seems much more objective and scientific as an anthropologist for uh, Lévi-Strauss wanted to discover at the level of structure that what all humans share by virtue of human beings one of the most basic structure shared by all human society is kinship. Kinship that every society that has ever existed anywhere has and has had some sort of system for deciding that who will marry whom, who inherits but from whom and who, how all of these relationships are named such as kinship system operates like dissociate lang and containing units in this case men women children who are labeled as father mother son and daughters rule for meeting those units in elementary structural structure elementary structures of kinship published in 1969 Levi Strauss Power points out two important functions of kinship system. The first is that the kinship system structures how goods, ideas, and peoples are exchanged within a culture, giving form to culture's economic, educational, and religious and social relations. He specifically notes that kinship system explain what he calls the exchange of women wherein family group gave a woman to an other family to be a wife and receives in exchange something of equal value known as bright price more important to us now is however is strauss the levi strauss insistence that the that the relation among units within the kinship system or any structure occurs in binary pairs where which are either similar to each other or different from each other this corres this corresponds and this is equal in linguistics and literature to the idea of metaphor and metonymy metaphor is the establishment of a relation of similarity between two things like A is like B or B is A or A is B but while metonymy is the establishment of a relation of congenuity or closeness or difference between two things an example is saying that that crown for king or sales for ship the main point here is that the relation between units in a system can only be analyzed in pairs. You know that A is A because it is not B. 
A is A because, because it is not Q. A is A because it is not something else. You can only examine A in relation to other units of system at a time and comparing A with B, A with Q or A with something else. What's important to Levi Strauss here is not the identity of any individual unit, any parole, but the relation between any two units compared in a binary pair. Levi Strauss writing on kinship, culture and myth often starts to look like algebraic expressions because of its focus on the relational pair he uses as an example the idea of clans or totems within a tribal system which can only comp which can which are only comprehensible in structural relation to each other a tribe may have a turtle clan and a hawk clan but the practice of each clan is not related to two animal and they they are named after but rather to the structural relationship between all possible clan animals you cannot understand the turtle and hawk division by thinking about how turtle people are like turtle and hawk people are like hawk rather you have to think about how the difference or relation between real turtles and real hawks are reproduced in the relationship between turtle people and hawk people if this were a, a mathematical mathematical problem we would call real turtle a real hawk b total people C and hawk people D and the structural relationship would be expressed as A A is to B as A is to C like A ratio B like and and C ratio D so in the raw and the cooked book which, which was published in 1969 by Levi Strauss discuss how binary pair particularly binary opposites from the basic structure of human cultures all human ways of thoughts and all human signifying system if there is a common human nature or human condition from this perspective it is that everyone everywhere thinks and and structure their world in terms of binary pairs of opposition like the raw and the cooked even more importantly in each binary pair one term is favored over the other the cook is better than raw good is better than evil light is better than dark and etc the list go on but this idea is crucial both to live strong structural analysis of myth and many post structuralist ideas and we will discuss that in coming videos in the essay, The Structuralist Study of Myth by Levi Strauss, he looks at another kind of human universal, the similarity of myth, from cultures all over the world. He notices that cultures widely separated by geography or time still have distinctly similar myths explaining for different difference between the sexes and other facts of human existence given that myths would contain anything they are stories not bound by rules of accuracy or law of probability why are so many myths from a, from so many different culture are so much alike he answers this question by looking not at the content of each myth but at their structure while the specific characters and actions differ greatly, Levi Strauss argues that their structures are almost identical. In making this argument, Levi Strauss insists that myth is a language because it has to be told in order to exist. 
we might add that myth is a language in sense that any signifying system as described by Saw de Saussure can be called a language. Myth as language consists of lang and parole, both the synchronic a historical structure and the specific diachronic details within the structure. Levi Strauss adds a new element of the Saussure's Lang and Parole, pointing out that Langs belong to what he calls the reversible time and Parole to non reversible time. He means that a parole at a specific unit or instance or event can only exist in linear time, which is unidirectional, that you cannot turn the clock back, that's unidirectional. Lang, on the other hand, since it is simply the structure itself, which doesn't ever change, can exist in past, present and future. Think of sentence in English, the, 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 ad, the adjectival non verb the direct object adverbially. If you read the, the sentence word by word, you can you read from left to right, one word at a time, and it takes a second or two to read the whole sentence. That's not reversible time. And you don't read the sentence, but see it as a whole, as the name of the structure of English. It exists in a single moment, every moment. Yesterday, the the like, the same as today, the same as tomorrow. That's what Levi Strauss calls reversible time, because it doesn't matter whether you go forward in time or backward in time. The structure, the lang is always the same. The myth, according to um, Levi Strauss, is both historically specific, a kind of parole, and existing in non reversible time as a story, and a historical part of a lang that exists in reversible time as a timeless structure. He also says that myth exists on a third level. In addition to lang and parole, which also proves that myth is a signifying system of its own and not just a subset of language. He explains that third level in term of story the myth tells. The story is special because it survives um, any and all transitions, translations and variations. A myth can be altered, expanded, reduced, paraphrased and otherwise manipulated without losing its basic shape or structure. That you might want to think again about the myth of that princess, stepmother and prince. To see that no matter what detail you add to story, the structure of relations among the unit remain the same. He thus argues that the myth is uh, myth as structure look like language as structure. Myth is actually something different from language per se. He says it operates on a higher or more complex level. Myth and language both consist of unit that units put together according to certain rules. And in both these units, they form a relation with each other based on binary pairs or opposites. Both myth differ from language as de Saussure's describes it because the basic unit of myth are not phonemes but what Levi Strauss calls them my themes. Defining my theme, my theme is the atom of a myth, the smallest, unreducible, undivisible unit that conveys meaning. Levi Strauss analysis of myth identifies the my theme and then examines the set or bundle of relations among my themes. He thus creates for myth a two-dimensional structure which allows for a different kind of reading than 
the one directional linear structure of language the saussure's language is a line one word is connected to the next in grammatical structure all right i hope you are understanding it levi strauss myth however is like a square or rectangle it has a both it has both a, a, a horizontal and a vertical dimensions perhaps the best illustration of this shape is a musical score which like like trip and a bass clef you can read the music for the melody reading soft reading sorry left to right page by page you can read the music for the harmony reading up and down seeing the notes in the in the in the in the music in relation to the notes in the bass clef and these two dimensions the melodies and harmony and the horizontal and non reversible left to right way of reading and the reversible and the vertical reversible up and down way of reading are where levi strauss found this bundle of relation among units on my themes basically a structuralist analysis of myth would find first the smallest component of part my themes which are usually one event or position or actions in narrative the story and the myth then the structuralist would lay these my themes out so that can be like read both horizontally and vertically diachronically and synchronically for plot and for themes the story of myth exists on the vertical left to right axis the theme of myth exists on the horizontal up and down axis the relations formed by any two of my themes in this array continues the basic constitutes the basic structure of myth i hope you understand that so next is uh, the uh, in the in in essay by levi strauss the structural study of myth so he says lay so he lays out the myth of oedipus in his way in this way and sees in the synchronic which is vertical relation certain patterns or what i have what i have called themes developing one such theme is the idea of having some problem of walking upright levi strauss take this theme that themes and runs with it seeing it as an expression of a tension between idea of like like from the underground gods and and there they're having having an origin in something external and like another self generated creation he then sees a tension on binary pair opposition like as present in myths from other culture this to levi strauss is a significance of myth it present certain structural relation in the form of binary opposition that is universal concern in all cultures it may seem to you that levi strauss analysis sounds a lot like his interpretation of myth rather than objective reading of its universal structure we might look at the oedipus myth and come up with different interpretation for what he sees as a bundle of relations for example he might agree we might agree with him that one common focus is on ideas about walking upright from that we see more fundamental anxiety about physical ability um, and disability which is an expression of tension between being fit for survival and needing charity and kindness we would then read that tension the selfishness and altruism as a fundamental universal structure that the myth articulates so here um, Uh, where you can start to see how this kind of structuralist reading may apply to a text once you have found the my themes the constituent units of a story and laid them out in two dimensional grid 
you can interpret them in an almost infinite number of ways your reading will depend on what you select as you are my theme and you can lay them out this brings up the notion that maybe structuralism isn't an objective or scientific as it hopes to be and that perhaps is not uncovering a universal human structures levi strauss is in fact want to want to uh, present structuralist analysis as a very much a scientific method in the structuralist study of myth he concludes that his method bring order out of chaos in some way and his scientific theory does enabling investigators to account for widespread variation on some structures structuralist analysis enables us to perceive some basic logical processes which are at the root of mythical thought and can provide a logical math model capable of overcoming a contradiction he uh, refers here to contradiction like a culture's belief in two opposite things like 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 two different things like selfishness and altruism every culture has these contradictions because every culture organizes knowledge into binary opposites according to levi strauss myth have to reconcile the contradictions and opposites according to a discoverable logic so concluding that um, levi strauss insists that logic of structuralist analysis is just as rigorous as the logic of science he wants interpretation to gain some kind of cultural authority that science scientific analysis has and he has and he thus invokes the the mechanism that gives science its truth value its logic and um of objectivity one might critique levi strauss view by pointing out that his own argument set up an opposition between science and myth favoring science as the preferred method of truth even as he asserts that myth is just as true as science but that's a destructive reading not a structuralist one the next video is coming about deconstruction and the previous video is about the structuralism and for the and the social make sure that you watch these videos and then watch the levi strauss thanks for watching if you like this video do subscribe to this channel and follow to show your support thank you